Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to teach you how to label the cell. So we have an animal cell here and we'll also look at a plant cell and they have many similar structures but a few key differences. So we'll start with the nucleus. The nucleus is generally somewhat centrally located and surrounded by the other organelles in the cell. Within the nucleus you have a dark dense area which is called the nucleolus which is here. The rough ER is, surrounds the nucleus and it's studded with ribosomes. Right, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. We just abbreviate that to ER. And the smooth ER or smooth endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with the rough ER but does not have the ribosomes. The Golgi apparatus, also called the Golgi complex or the Golgi body, uh, looks like a stack of pancakes. That's the best way I can describe it. Mitochondria, uh, usually shaped like a kidney bean, and it has sort of these, these zigzag insides. Ribosomes are these small little dots outside of the rough, on the outside of the rough ER, or they can also be free floating in the cell. And these are what give the rough ER its roughness. Vacuoles, for the plant cell, there's usually one large vacuole. And then the animal cells, you'll have smaller vacuoles that are sphere shaped. Vesicles are also small spherical structures, and sometimes you'll see them coming off of the Golgi apparatus. Uh, peroxisomes are another small spherical structure in the cell. Um, you should just know there's a lot of small spherical structures, and so pay attention to your teacher to know which structures are labeled which among the vesicles and vacuoles and peroxisomes, things like that. The cell membrane, or also known as the lipid bilayer or phospholipid bilayer, is the outer edge of the cell. That would be the yellow here in the plant cell. Cytosol and cytoplasm. So the cytosol is just the fluid within the cell here. Whereas the cytoplasm is everything inside the cell excluding the nucleus. So other than the nucleus, everything inside the cell. All right, in the animal cell only, we have a few specific structures. Uh, one of those being the centrioles. There are these uh, star-shaped structures, usually somewhat centrally located. Um, lysosomes, uh, again, could be any of these small spherical structures. So you just have to pay attention to your teacher to know which is which. Um, in the plant cell only, we have chloroplasts. Uh, they're usually or almost always green and they'll have layers inside them. Okay, and then the cell wall, that's this thick outer edge that's surrounding the cell membrane. All right, so uh, now you can go ahead and try. Um, pause the video and see if you can identify the structures using the terms listed. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please take this, share it with your friends, let me know if you have any questions, throw them in the comments.